What is up you guys? Welcome back to my channel. I am so excited about today's video. I have been waiting such a long time to do this. I feel like I say I'm so excited for every single video, but you guys, I just, I am. <laughs> I'm excited about the videos I post and I'm excited about what I'm gonna be finally doing today. After months, 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 and months, I'm going to be riding my horses. For the first time since I got pregnant, since I gave birth, literally it's been over a year since I rode. So I am super excited and I thought I would vlog it and bring you guys along. I am so sorry about my annoying little duck. He's not gonna stop. Huh, Doug? Are you gonna stop, Dougie? The barn's a mess. I think you guys can tell. Anyway, as I was saying, anyway, as I was saying, oh my god, no one's gonna let me talk today. Brandy! Oh my goodness. As I was saying, I have been waiting such a long time to ride, you guys. I actually got cleared about. What is going on with the animals today? I actually got cleared by my doctor a few months ago. I am currently five months postpartum. I guess I could have ridden a long time ago, but you guys, I've been so busy with a new baby and I wanted to film it, so it wasn't like I could just like hop on one random day. Like I really wanted to document it and like see how I would feel, see if my body felt different. I'm a little scared because I did get a first degree tear. I mean, it's not that bad. I think a first degree is not that bad. I'm just wondering like, <laughs> but yeah, I just wanted to document it and film it. So finding the time to do all that has kind of been difficult, but my baby girl's at grandma's house today again, and we're gonna ride. I'm excited, I'm nervous. Ever since I had a baby, I'm definitely more scared of things than I usually was. Girl, I'm kind of scared to ride you today because you seem a little excited. I'm actually gonna be riding both of the horses, Brandy and Crystal, so we're gonna see how that goes. Before we get started though, I have to say a huge thank you to Birch Living for sponsoring today's video. So if you don't know, Birch is a premium mattress in a box company that makes mattresses and sleep products that are stylish, comfortable, and environmentally conscious. You guys, ever since I had my little baby, I do not sleep as much as I used to. I crave sleep, I miss it. My baby is still not sleeping through the night, but we will get there eventually. In the meantime, I want that little sleep that I do get to actually be restful sleep. My old mattress was so uncomfortable. Every time I would sit, I would sink in. I wish I would have had the birch mattress when I was pregnant because, ooh, it was super hard for me to get comfortable. Anyway, you guys, I love my birch Lux mattress. Obsessed with how easy it is to put together. You guys, you just take it out of the box and roll it out. I love that concept. Their non-toxic mattresses are made right here in America and are crafted with organic and natural materials that have been sustainably sourced. Birch Lux is crafted with eight different layers of organic organic cashmere, organic wool, organic cotton, and 100% natural latex. It's created with breathability, cooling, and support in mind, and offers increased airflow and targeted zoned lumbar support. I get so hot when I sleep, you guys. Like, I cannot sleep if it's hot. Like, I can tell when someone put up the thermostat. <laughs> so having a mattress that keeps me cool is super important to me. Not only that, but the Birch mattresses are actually Green Guard Gold certified, which means that there are no harsh chemicals used. The mattress is also allergen and mildew resistant. And they're made with raw materials which are sourced straight from nature which makes it comfortable and durable. And throughout the creation of their mattresses, Birch actually ensures that their materials are produced and harvested sustainably. And I also love that while I'm cuddling with my little baby on the mattress, I won't have to worry about like any harmful emissions being released into the air because all their mattresses are guaranteed free of harmful chemicals. And Birch products actually have several third-party certifications, so if you guys want to check those out, I'll leave them linked down below. I feel good about having a 100% non-toxic mattress that's environmentally friendly. I also got a birch mattress topper that is so plush and it made my mattress even more comfortable than it already is. It's super comfortable, I fall asleep right away and I can't wait till I actually get to sleep on it throughout the entire night without any interruptions. <laughs> so if you guys are interested in a birch mattress, you actually get a 100 day sleep trial along with a 25 year warranty. They deliver it right to your door and shipping is actually free within the US. And if it makes you nervous to buy a mattress online, cause I get it, you don't get to try it or lay on it, you actually get more than three months to decide if you want to keep it or not. And if you don't, they'll come and they'll pick it up and you'll get a full refund. So it's super easy. And each birch mattress actually comes with two of their EcoRest pillows, which are made from recycled plastic bottles. They're breathable and better for the environment. So anyway, you guys, I love my Birch Lux mattress. If you guys are in the market for a new mattress, definitely check them out. You can click the link in my description box or go to birchliving.com slash cowgirl and you'll get $400 off your mattress plus two free pillows. Thank you again to Birch Living for sponsoring today's video. Now, let's get on into tacking up the horses. I have not picked up my saddle in a year. So let's see how this goes. I feel like I'm definitely gonna need restful sleep after today. You guys know what I'm talking about when you don't ride for so long your 
butt is sore, like your whole body sore. So I'm definitely gonna need some restful sleep tonight. Anyway, I prepared ahead of time. If you watched my last video, you know why I'm talking about that. <laughs> Brandy's mane is officially not knotted. Look how beautiful, it's so long, you guys. But anyway, like I said, I'm definitely gonna be sore today. My butt's gonna hurt so bad, and I hope that that's the only thing that hurts, if you know what I'm talking about, okay? This is a PG channel, so I cannot talk about it, but if you guys know what I'm trying to say, you know what I'm trying to say. Your girl had a non-medicated birth. Not non-medicated, I did get induced, which sucked, I didn't want to. Oh my god, I'm going into, I'm going off. This is not even the topic of this video. What I'm trying to say is, I gave birth with no epidural. I did tear, it wasn't a bad tear, thank god, but it has been on my mind, just wondering how it's gonna feel to ride again and everything, so hopefully it's not too bad. Um, And I'm gonna start off with Crystal. Crystal's my go-to, I just always ride her first, even though she's definitely super crazy. Oh my god, and she has not been ridden in so long. Ah! She's not been ridden in so long. This might be crazy. I always start off with her just because I know her. I've had her the longest. I know her like the back of my hand. I know exactly what she's gonna do before she does it. So I feel safer on her to start off with. And then we're gonna move to Brandy, which she's a lot smoother to ride. So I definitely feel like she would have been easier. But Brandy is like a little green still. Brandy bucks sometimes. Um, Crystal never bucks or anything like that. So I wanna start off with Crystal first. Let's go get on my tack. Who knows what it looks like? It's been years since I even touched it. Okay, so I've actually just kept my tack in my trailer instead of the tack room in the barn just because if you guys watched my chicken coop video you know that there were rats and stuff in that tack room and I didn't want it to get all chewed up so hopefully it survived in here we're gonna see what it looks like I don't know oh my god what a mess all right, this is what's going on in here. We did throw some random stuff from the tack room in here just because it was getting devoured by rats. I have so much to throw away in here. But my saddle seems to be in one piece, super dirty, and my bridles and stuff are still there. So hopefully, hopefully, nothing will break on us. Ah, I'm scared, you guys. I'm scared that I'm gonna lift something and find a snake or find an animal. I always say that in my videos, but it's just because I've had bad experiences. Ew! Oh my gosh. I'm so out of shape. I cannot even lift my saddle. Bridles. What else do you need when you ride horses? Bridles, saddle pads, saddle. Yeah, I don't even remember how to do this. Wish me luck. All right, you guys. So I brought my tack over. I'll show you in a second. It's disgusting. But there's a few things I need to do before I actually start to ride. Like a few things I need to do to my tack. I got this head stall a while back. I'm going to switch over my bit to it. I think the last time I rode, I wanted to do it and I didn't get a chance to. So let's do it right now. Just because this is the one the bit is on. It's kind of stiff. It's like a barrel racing show thing. So I'd rather just put it on this one. So I usually use a bit with crystal. And then I trained Brandy with a bitless bridle and I still ride crystal in a bit list sometimes but obviously not when she hasn't been ridden in a year she's an ex racehorse so for her first few rides I'll definitely ride her in a bit and then once she's like good ow, and I know she's good and she's like remembers all her stuff and she's not as like fresh and hot then I'll probably put the bit list bridle on her that's kind of what I usually do like if I know I haven't ridden my horse in a long time I just usually start off with a bit and then if they are behaving fine then I just move over to a bit list bridle and it also depends on the situation as well like if I know we're going to like a new place you know there's gonna be scary stuff happening and noises and a lot of stuff then I'll probably start off with the bit even though Crystal's always been such a good girl the only problem I've ever had with her and I've talked about it a few times is just that she doesn't like to stop Everyone's excited today. It's making me nervous. I wonder why. But um, yeah, usually she does not like to stop, especially if she hasn't been ridden in a long time. She just kind of takes off and doesn't stop. But she doesn't buck, she doesn't rear, she doesn't do any of that crazy stuff. So I kind of just know what to expect with Crystal. Sometimes I just kind of let her go or I'll just turn her in circles and stop her. Okay, I have not used this camera in so long. My other little vlog camera is on its last legs. It's just not working for me, so I just had to switch to this one. Hopefully everything looks good. It's huge, so I'm not used to this, but I'm officially done moving over the bit. I'm excited to use this head stall. I've never used it before, and it just feels so buttery and smooth, so I think she's gonna like this. Next up is cleaning this disgusting saddle. Let me show you guys. I don't even know if I should show you guys this, but we're gonna do it. I don't know what all of that stuff is, to be completely honest. It could be mold. I have no idea. So I got some wipes and I'm gonna wipe the seat I might be ruining it but you guys it's an old saddle I mean I like my saddle but it's not like I show or anything hopefully it won't get ruined I'm kind of grossed out like I don't want to be touching it but at least the part where I sit should get some love right I don't know if you guys can see so apparently I'm having trouble with this camera too. Just stops recording out of nowhere, but. All right, so I wiped it and it looks a lot better than what it was. It still looks weird. I definitely need to do a deep clean, but yeah, this is good enough. I'm trying to get Crystal to come over here. Hi, mama. Hi. 
All right, you guys, so I got Crystal. I'm gonna go ahead and give her a quick little grooming session and then we'll tack up. I don't know if you guys can see this. Can you see all this hair? Oh my God, this is so satisfying. Look at this. <gasps> Ooh. That's a lot. Okay, you guys, so Crystal is groomed. Next up is tacking her up. If you guys have watched my channel for a long time, you know that sometimes when I don't ride her for a long time, she goes a little bit crazy when I tighten up the saddle. So we're gonna see how this goes, okay? I think she'll be good. Just in case, I'm gonna untie her because we've had accidents before when she's tied up. <laughs> Look at her face. She's like, um, what is happening? I know, girl. It's been a long time. Oh, I forgot how heavy that was. Mama, how is it affecting you to go crazy? Look at you! That was awesome! That was way better than I thought she was gonna do. I guess you're ready to ride, huh? You missed it too? All right, next up is the bridle. This is a new one. It's super comfy. I think you're gonna like it. Oh, wait. No, 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 wait, 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 wait. We need to lunch her first. What am I doing? <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and lunch her first with the saddle with the saddle and everything and see how she does. It's a good way to warm her up just a little bit before I get on, just to remind her what the saddle feels like and the girth and all that stuff. So let's go ahead and do that first. Let's go. Before we get started, I'm gonna go ahead and pick her hooves and kind of stretch her legs out a little bit, just cause it has been a little while. All right, you guys, she's definitely on the lazy side. She's super out of shape. I was expecting her to be pretty crazy, so I think we're gonna be fine. So here's my plan. I'm just gonna jump on. We're gonna do a little bit of walking, a little bit of trotting, and maybe we'll do like one quick lope, but I really don't wanna push her. She's been off for a long time, so I don't wanna go crazy like on her first ride. Are you excited? You guys, I'm so excited. She looks so good, and I haven't seen her with a saddle on in so long. This is like weird for me. I don't even think she needs a bit, but we'll just start with it anyway. You guys, <laughs> I have not stepped on a horse in so long. I don't even know if I can like put my leg this high. Okay. Oh my god! This feels so good. How do you feel, pretty girl? Stretch on this side. Good job. Stretch on this side. Good girl. This is the main thing. Stopping and backing up is what we need. This might be a little crazy. She's just bouncier than usual, or I haven't ridden in a while, so it just feels bouncier. So far, I'm feeling good in this region. I'm just not used to having this money, this much food. I don't know if I can say that on my channel, but I'm gonna say it. I don't know what to do. I don't know if I should post or if I should just sit the trot. I'm just gonna go ahead, have fun, see what happens. I'm gonna forget about the camera for a little bit and just kind of, just kind of ride her.
All right, never mind about her being lazy today. She definitely wants to go, and I'm definitely out of shape. But I think so far, so good. I think she tripped a few times, but she didn't really try to throw me off, so that's a good sign. <laughs> as far as me, I feel super out of shape, and I'm already exhausted, but that was good. Woo. I forgot how exhausting it is. <laughs> She's definitely like super go, go, go. I think it's just because Brandy's on this side. So every time I turn around to come this way, she wants to like take off. But for her first time being ridden in over a year, I think she did pretty good. I don't know about me. I feel like I'm all over the place on that saddle. Crystal, check. <laughs> that was really good. I feel like I'm the one that's definitely out of shape. I feel like I am like a sack of potatoes on the saddle. I have no like body control, but we will get there again. I'm gonna go ahead and untack her, hose her off, and then we'll move on to Brandy. How did you feel? Huh? That was good. I was was gonna do bareback but she's so sweaty and I'm so sweaty and your girl has no control so we'll save that for another video okay we'll do like bareback riding for the first time since having a baby today we're just doing it with a saddle <laughs> So Crystal is rinsed off, I fly sprayed her. We are officially done with our first ride together since I gave birth, since I got pregnant, since everything. Overall, I think she did a pretty good job. Now let's move on to Brandy, who's been whinnying this whole time because she's buddy sour with Crystal. So we're gonna see how she reacts. I, look at her, look at her. Are you missing your friend? We were not gone for that long, Brandy baby. Are you ready for your turn? You seem a little hot today. <laughs> Hopefully everything goes well. Brandy is officially tacked up and she always does so well saddling up. If you guys have watched my starting Brandy series, then you've seen me train her from scratch. She always does so well, even if she sits for a long time. When it comes to tacking her up, she's usually pretty good. Today, she is super excited. She's been winning. Uh, my neighbor's mowing their lawn, so hopefully you guys can hear me. But she's been winning and I think she's in heat. So hopefully she's not gonna be too crazy today. Huh? Are you gonna be crazy? We're gonna lunch first though. We're gonna lunch her first, okay? you guys as you can see unlike crystal brandy's definitely more energetic she was bucking and kind of going crazy a little bit every time i asked her to switch directions so we're gonna see how she does i just kept on lunging her until she calmed down she gave me a few good ones so i feel ready to get on <laughs> Oh my god, Brandy's bucked with me in the past. That's why she's never my first ride, but we'll see. I kind of got warmed up with Crystal. Now we're gonna do Brandy. I think we'll be fine. We're in her little paddock, so if I fall, she's closer to the ground than Crystal is, so we're good. <laughs> I'm gonna do a quick little stretch with her before I put her bridle on. Good job. Good job, baby. Good job. All right, if you guys have watched my starting Brandy series, I trained her to ride without a bit. So I'm obviously not gonna put a random bit in her mouth right now because she would not know how to react. So we're gonna go ahead and put her bridle on. She's always been pretty good with it. 
Okay, one thing about Brandy that I love, that I'm excited about, is that she's not as bouncy as Crystal. So that's a plus for me. But she's definitely more unpredictable than Crystal is. So we're gonna see how this goes. She's more on the lazy side, so instead of always having to hold her back, I can just chill and sit on her. But once Brandy gets tired, if you push her, that's when all her craziness comes out. That's when she wants to buck, when she wants to rear, when she wants to go crazy. So I'm a little bit scared to push her for a lope, but I feel like it wouldn't be a whole like successful ride if I didn't do every single gate, walk, trot, lope. So I'm gonna try it. Usually this is when things go south, but let's see, let's do it. like I expected. She gave me a weak little lope there, but you guys, I'm exhausted. She's out of shape. I'm a mom now, so I definitely don't want to push it and get hurt. <laughs> Once she's back into shape, I'm sure she'll be fine, but I think today we had a successful ride. I'm still on, right? That's what matters. Good job, Brandy. She did pretty good, and she remembered most of her stuff. Like, she stopped fine, and she goes fine, but I've always had trouble to get her to lope. She's a lazy butt, but overall, she did a good job. Woo! It's hot, and I'm tired, but I think we did good. We did good. Good job, Brandy. fresh and clean after our little workout well brandy is i feel like we had a successful ride today my first ride back your girl is way out of shape i am exhausted right now but i had fun i'm in one piece no accidents today which is a good thing i didn't really feel anything different in my body after giving birth i feel like that's one of the questions i had when i saw equestrians get pregnant and then go back to riding i just always wondered like does it feel different and in my opinion i honestly don't feel different besides just super out of shape and like a potato on the saddle like I just have no control. I forgot how to ride. I feel like <laughs> I hope you guys enjoyed coming along Please, 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 please give this video a big thumbs up if you liked it Let me know what other kinds of videos you guys want to see make sure you're subscribed to my other YouTube channel If you want to see more things baby related, um, Brandy's leaving me, but I have the whole lead rope 
Come here, girl. We gotta say goodbye. Okay. Yeah, definitely check out my other channel if you guys wanna see more like baby videos and the birth vlog and all that stuff. I'll leave it linked down below. Also, thank you so much to Birch Living for sponsoring today's video. If you guys wanna try out their mattress, definitely check out the link in my description box or go to birchliving.com slash cowgirl to get $400 off your mattress and two free pillows. If you guys haven't subscribed yet, definitely click that subscribe button. Here is my notification shout out. If you guys wanna be my next notification shout out, all you gotta do is just click that notification bell and then leave me a comment letting me know that you've done it and that is it. And yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed watching and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.